Good morning. Welcome to day 50 of my Monroe Challenge. Today I'm walking route number 56. Um, I've parked at a car park near Crisone Bridge. Now it's slightly different to shown on the Ordnance Survey map. It's probably three or 400 metres prior to where I expected it and indeed on the other side of the road. Uh, but it's all signed, as you can see, and, the, and they've actually uh, put a signpost at the corner of the uh, car park path to the hill track so uh, <laughs> I'm going to take it and see uh, see where it takes me I'm assuming it's the correct path. Two Monroes today um, ban back over in um, Glen Afric so today I'm going to do Tom Aconic which is the hill of the moss and Tol Kriak which is the rocky hollow. So this track isn't shown on the map and wasn't one that I plotted but um, it's going roughly in the, the right direction. Um, roughly. <laughs> so I'm hoping it will actually meet up with the original path. Just uh, pointing out, I do have Stanley back with me. So I'm over the moon that I've got Stanley now for the next few weeks. So you'll be seeing a lot of Stan. And it looks like Stan's over the moon as well. Absolutely perfect. So it's three quarters of a mile back to the car park. So it's cut a lovely corner and I'm back on the uh, track that I expected to be on earlier. So uh, yeah, well worth taking that footpath. So there's two paths, one down there following the, the uh, burn, the one that's slightly higher up. I'm, I'm following the higher up one because it's very boggy. Now at some point we've got to cross that burn. It does suggest that in spate, stick to uh, the east side. If we can't get across, but if we can get across the path is better. So uh, we'll see how we get on uh, when we get to the uh, crossing. So I've got to the uh, the crossing, as it were, and uh, I managed to find a couple of larger stones and uh, got across. I would imagine any higher, and it would be impassable. And I've had to stay on the uh, east side of the bank. Anyway, we're across. It's quite a good path through the uh, heather, cutting through. Just looking back down the glen. A lot of water in that river. Been uh, foul weather this last um, week. And uh, all the rivers are swollen. So I'm at the coal between the two Munros. And the wind is very strong. Blowing me over almost. I just sheltered out the wind down here, so I'll take the opportunity to uh, have a quick look up. It's a steep little path. Sun's come out, lovely. Let's have a look. There's the next Monroe over there in the clouds. So here we are, Tom Aconic. I'm just dropping off the top and the clouds have momentarily cleared. A, a lovely view, lovely. We're heading back down now to the Belak. And then I can see a faint path climbing the other side up to the next Monroe. Look at that, the next Monroe's cleared. The wind's just blown all the cloud away. What a fabulous view. So I've been following a very faint path which runs along the side of the old fence posts. So in times of poor navi navigation and cloud, it gives you a chance. Very windy. This is interesting. There's two tops. 
You have to go to both. So this is a trig point at Tol Kriagak. Although <coughs> the cairn does look higher, so I've been to both. Cloud, the clouds cleared. First mineral over there in the background. So I've just started my descent and the guidebook suggests to head due south. So obviously it's pathless. Um, so rather than retracing my steps to the uh, the path that followed the uh, burn that we had to cross earlier, I'm going to do what the guidebook suggests and I'm heading due south down this um, hillside. So I followed the um, compass due south, picked a point on the horizon, headed for it and before long, probably half to two thirds of the way down I picked up this path which is just uh, running parallel with the burn and it's uh, just about to join the uh, path that we came up on so that's been fabulous so obviously a lot of other people have um, have done the same it's a faint path but it's definitely a path so back on the track here we are we're going to follow the track all the way back now down to the signpost where it's uh, signposted left to the car park if you remember Hi, welcome to day 50 of my Munro challenge. Today I walk route number 56. It's Thursday the 23rd of September. Initially the path is great, it's brand new, it's purposely built and it takes you onto the access uh, road which takes you up to the, um, the, um, the, the dam that they built, um, the small dam on the stream. Um, once you get past the dam, uh, things start getting a bit squelchy and a bit boggy, um, extremely boggy, and you're on a much smaller, uh, much smaller path. Um, uh, and eventually, you've got to cross Alt Tol Isa, the um, the tributary to um, to the river. Uh, now, I, I managed to cross it, but only just. And there is a lot of water about, but I would imagine. I would imagine it could be extremely difficult to cross should there be any more than there was today. Mm. Um, and that, then you follow, so just after that you turn right and you follow a path steadily up, uh, up the mountainside to the col. And I have to say, Ray, it, um, it climbs quite nicely. Uh, you really do make your gradient at a lovely, lovely pace. Uh, when, when, and, and it's easy to follow. Now, when I got to the top, it was absolutely blowing a gale. I was struggling to stand upright on the col. Um, extremely windy today. Uh, so, so obviously I turned left up to uh, Tomashonk. Um, uh, and, and it's quite steep and it's quite rocky to get to the top. I think you've probably got about 200 metres of ascent to still to do. But you seem to get there quite quickly because, because it's steep. So... Um, it's not that far. Um, I've, I've, I've read in the guidebook that the best views of the day are from there. Unfortunately, with the clouds as it was, I didn't get the, my best views from there today. Um, I got my best views from the next Monroe Toll Kriagic um, because um, the, the wind had just blown all the clouds away by the time I got there and, and some, some lovely views. Uh, and to get to Toma Creek, you retake your, retrace your steps down to the col, and then you've got a long grassy bank to climb up, um, following the fence posts. And it's spattered with bits of scree, but you know it's easily avoidable. You can kind of walk around it, the, the bits of rock that's on there. Um, I have to say, there's quite a few ptarmigans today, and I do keep bumping into the ptarmigans because obviously I'm in Northern Scotland. I'm hoping that um, I managed to get some on film today. Um, so once you get to the top of the second row, um, there's two two summits very close to each other. So I did both of them <laughs> just to make sure. Uh, and then I took a bearing due south to come off the mountain. 
other rather than retracing my steps uh, the guidebook suggests it's the fastest way back i have to say it's a lovely gentle slope down easily done pathless but eventually i did come across a path uh, which um, zigzagged down beside the burn and um, eventually came to the, the original path at the bottom so it was absolutely fabulous lovely day um, quite easy going really not having just left um, the coolings <laughs> it, it was nice to um, have a more relaxing time let's say 11 and a half miles today uh, five and a half hours and there was 4,014 feet of ascent.